Okay, so my lab recommendations still stand. I know, I know, uh, ICMD one, ICMD two. Oh, another another big thing that they've added is iOS fifteen, which is Cisco's new. Well, quasi new. It's been out for. A, a, that's that's it. I mean, if you if you're saying, do I have to go buy all this new equipment that runs iOS fifteen? No, you do not. Um, just use use the same old stuff. I mean, I don't mean to tangent off, but OSPF is still OSPF. Uh, pings are still pings. EIGRP is still EIGRP. I mean, VLANs are still VLANs. Uh, so, so like the core of everything is still the same. iOS 15 doesn't. It's not like oh, well now you have to type the commands this way. Same commands. It's just licensing. It's all that's there now. Um, I have so I have this little router that I love, and I recommended it in 2007. It's the Cisco 871W router. It's this little wireless do jobber that that uh, you can pick up for probably less than a hundred bucks off of uh, eBay. They don't make it anymore from Cisco. Um, and people say, oh well, should I still use that little router, you know, as as practice? And I would say, yeah. I mean, that router is awesome uh, because it has a built-in switch. You can do VLANs on it. You can do your routing, your NAT, access list. Oh, access list, new topic in ICND1. Um, you can do your access list. You can do, you know, just a ton of stuff. I mean, so, so, you know, how much equipment do you buy? I mean, actually, I created a micro nugget where I said, you know, buy this. But if you can only buy one thing, if you, you know, your wallet stretch, you can only buy one. I say, I still would say, buy that router. Um, it does so much. So, there we go.